Hello friends, I am Abby and welcome to my channel Pharmacist and Drugs. Today I am going to talk about how scientists analyze uh, nanoparticles. And so today I am going to show how to analyze the size distribution of any nanoparticle using nanosite machine. So friends, today we have a new student who is going to ask most of the questions regarding this uh, experiment and I will be answering most of his uh, doubts. So let's have a look how this whole process goes on. So this is the interface of this nano tracking analyzer system and first of all we have to uh, like click this capture and then we have to click this start camera and like before st starting the camera we need to we need to first insert our sample so here we, you can see so this is the nanosite analyzer system and it's a, and here is, here is one computer is attached to this system and there are several modules like power module pumps temperature synchronized and, and a lot of filters but in this one there is only one filter that is uh, which is made with 488 nanometer so as a trial experiment, I will show you the analysis of PBS. Here we have a PBS and we will analyze this, analyze the particle size for this using nanosite. After inserting the sample, we will click the capture button and then we will start the camera. So here you can see the sample. You have to increase the camera level to see the particle size. And then you have to adjust the focus to view the particles. So this is the knob by which we can adjust the focus for the particle. So as you can see on the screen. So as you can see, after adjusting the focus, we can see the particles. and after that we can increase the even screen gain to view more particles and after that we have to click on the SOP and we have to choose from this drop down menu standard measurement and after that we can uh, based on our statistical calculation we can put like number of capture as 5 or generally we keep it as a 3 and for and we keep it as 60 second but for just for trial I'm just keeping it as 30 second each div, uh, each run and you have to check all this box keep it on like for data and time file name and process after capture uh, keep these all these settings unchecked so j basically you have to see this kind of this kind of settings you have to keep it and after that you need to choose the file where you gonna save here and run script and we have to click it as ok 
and after that yeah. and then we have to advance a sample and then we have to again press ok so here you can see these tiny particles are visible under this nano tracking analyzing system so in one of my video I will be explaining more about the principle of this uh, of this system so here we can see these particles and now it's recording so now it's already 23 seconds it has been recorded and here you can see the log file what is being like running like they are captured the capture has been started and now it's complete here we have to select the temperature so I'm just keeping it as 22 normal temperature normal room temperature so based on your experimental condition you can set the temperature as well so again we have to advance the sample and press ok so this is basically it's showing uh, some kind of bubble you know in the sample so this kind of things might produce some artifact in the sample in your uh, recording uh, I mean in your data so generally we should avoid this kind of thing so now again we have to click settings ok and now it's analyzing uh, like all the frame here you can see like how many frames so a lot of noise is there and here you can see in the 3d mode the diameter versus intensity it's, uh, it's creating a very beautiful picture here you can see in the 3d mode and here is the intensity graph so generally this is a, just a trial experiment so the size is uh, the number of particle is generally it, e5 it's showing it means it's, it's, it's in the range of uh, like 0.1 million particles So after this we have to export the file here and now it's done and here we can see our and it will now it will generate the up. so here is the very beautiful picture so generally this is uh, this should be very uh, like this this should show a very normal distribution curve for a, uh, for a good for a good data but since it uh, it's just a PBS so it's showing something like this and here you can see all the statistical values like mean so the average diameter is 139 nanometer 39.1 nanometer the modes that is like the number the highest number of particle 106.2 nanometer standard deviation d10 d50 d90 so these are the values which generally represent like under d90 how many uh, sorry, like 90 percent of the diameter they are like 197.7 nanometer and similar way like 50% uh, of the diameter are generally uh, above one like uh, 123.6 nanometer and similar way for this 10% of the of this particle and here is the concentration of particle we can see here and how many particles per frame it has recorded so, so here you, you can get all the data related with your experiment so here we have a new student who gonna ask me some questions about this particular protocol so and i'll be answering his questions so let us know how what kind of questions he is having so you may ask me some some of the questions whatever you have so, so, so what is the significance of the analysis this method we can uh, know about the size distribution of any nanoparticle uh, even biological nanoparticles extracellular vesicles those are released in the extracellular space of the, of the cells you know. and we can also know about the nanoparticles uh, like how what is the like in, in, in some particular experimental conditions we can understand what is the size change and what is the like morphological difference like not exactly morphology but we can understand we can, we, uh, it has got some data potential analysis also it has also we can understand what is the size range like before and after if you are going to do some treatment to your uh, cells and after, after that if you are going to analyze the vesicles released from your cells what kind of changes are happening so all in all it's uh, a good instrument for analyzing the size distribution of any nanoparticles 
be it biological or any kind of synthetic or chemically formed. So it's a good instrument. So there are many processes involved in the experiment. So what would you suggest to get a good result during the experiments? So well, uh, in this process, you have to be very cautious about like, contamination. Uh, you should uh, you should avoid any kind of bubble when you are going to insert your sample inside. And one more thing, like before and after each experiment, you should uh, better wash the, the inlet, and so that you can avoid the contamination with the uh, previous sample. And next is you have to be very cautious about setting the threshold because you you have to maintain the same threshold for all for all experimental as well as. Uh, I would say for experimental as well as control group so that the data would not like mismatch. Uh, if there is some mismatch, again you have to do uh, experiments so that the data will be compared in each group. So these are the some points which you have to be very cautious about while handling this instrument for the analysis of any kind of nanoparticles. And, uh, and one more is you, you should always uh, you should always have a, a good control like negative control, positive control. And if you can, it's better to have a negative control first, like so that you can understand, and one like positive control so that you can understand uh, how well it is coordinated with your experimental group. This is one of the techniques to analyze the size distribution of particles. So, how it is good that the conventional techniques which are present now? So, when well, there are many conventional techniques like transmission electron microscope or even the data potential is also one of the good instruments with which you can analyze. But apart from those uh, methods, this one is, uh, uh, this can be one of the supportive experiments because uh, uh, because it has got many good advantages. Like if you, here, you can save your time as a well cost because in TM, as you know, you need a lot of time to prepare your sample. And in TM, but one good thing about TM is you can see the ultra structure, but here you cannot. But this one is good for saving your time. Within 30 minutes, you can analyze your uh, sample just by inserting in that window. And here you don't need to handle any toxic chemicals. As in TM, you have to use like uranium oxalate or methyl cellulose or any other toxic chemicals which you have to uh, use in those process. But here you, you don't have to use those things. You can easily analyze your sample. So these are the things which uh, like which makes this instrument good for analyzing, but uh, for analyzing the overall size distribution of any nanoparticles. So friends, that was a quick video to understand how this nanoparticle system is working and how to analyze the size distribution of the any nanoparticle, like be it biological or any synthetic or any chemically formed nanoparticles. So keep watching me and. Please, if you like this video, please like, share as well as subscribe my channel, uh, Pharmacist and Drugs. Stay tuned.